let's discuss chi transformation, motive force dynamics. The process of chi transformation is a natural biological process. What the theory of chi transformation insists upon is that one chi, that one chi embodies both yin and yang. The myriad things in the universe are generate, generated through the opposition and mutual support of yin and yang. Thus, the motive force for chi transformation resides within chi itself. As the spiritual pivot states, the upper jaw is open and permits effusion. It assimilates the and diffuses the flavor of the five grains. It warms the skin, nourishes the body, and it keeps the hair moist, like the sprinkling from fog and dew. Such are the actions of chi. This quote shows that the chi itself possesses two entirely different tendencies and actions. Ascending versus descending, and warming, evaporating versus moistening, nourishing. The Ming Dynasty physician Wang Kantang said, The one qi contains within itself yin and yang, heat and cold, ascending and descending, and activity and quiescence. This clearly and indicates that yin and yang are both contained within qi and that the interaction between yin chi and yang chi is the fundamental cause of chi transformation. Dynamics of chi transformation. The direction of movement of the various types of chi in various physiological activities is the key for preserving normal chi transformation. For certain physiological activities, chi needs to ascend, for others to descend. In ancient China, people often express these two movements in relation to heaven and earth. Heaven pertains to yang and yang descends. Earth pertains to yin and yin ascends. The plain question states the ascent, descent of qi is manifested in the alternation between heaven qi and earth qi. Again, descent comes after ascending to the zenith and the one that is descending pertains to heaven. Ascent comes after descending to the nadir, and one that is ascending pertains to earth. Heaven chi descends and flows on earth. Earth chi ascends and soars in heaven. Hence, the high and the low call each other, and ascent and descent cause each other, in so doing giving rise to all changes and transformations. Again, clear yang becomes heaven and turbid yin earth. Earth chi ascends and becomes cloud. Heaven chi descends and becomes rain. Rain comes from earth chi and cloud, and cloud comes from heaven chi. Therefore, clear yang exits the upper orifices and turbid yin exits the lower orifices. Clear yang diffuses into the inner pieces of the body exterior and turbid yin flows into the sang visira. Clear yang invigorates the four extremities, and turbid yin returns to the full visira. This code uses the ascent, descent, and mutual transformation of water and chi between heaven and earth as analogy of the metabolism and chi transformation in the human body. Whether chi ascend or descend or moves otherwise, is determined by the functional characteristic of the Sangfu Visira, the ascent, descent of chi, and its entering, exiting, is a unity of opposites. But each visceral organ has a special effect on the ascent or descent of chi. From the local point of view, it is not necessary that its physiological activity must have both ascent and descent or entering and exiting. Instead, each has its own pattern. For example, liver chi and spleen chi ascend, lung chi and stomach chi descend, heart yang descends, and kidney yin ascends. From the point of view of the totality of physiological activities of the body, however, there must be a dynamic equilibrium between ascent and descent and between entering and exiting. Only then can normal physiological functioning uh, be maintained. Thus, the ascending and descending, exiting and entering of chi are important factors in the regulation and balancing of many physiological capabilities. Thank you for your attention.